So I'm introducing a new series today. These are my wooden tiles. Um, I came up with this idea because I wanted to create some smaller pieces since I'm putting my stuff into like mercantiles and stores. Um, something that I can price at a lower point that's more accessible to more people and I came up with the idea for these tiles so they're kind of like a set but you can also break them apart and mix and match so if you wanted to buy just one or if you wanted to buy a set of three or six or however you know you can kind of mix and match the different pieces and it's kind of like quilting meets pyrography so I'm, I like how it kind of as a set looks like you know pieces of a quilt but individually they're just like little wooden tiles so I got some planks of poplar at Home Depot I cut them into squares sanded them and each tile represents something going on here on our property so we've had fox and owls and all kinds of birds uh, we have a ton of oak trees, we have sweet gum trees, you know, lizards and armadillos and all kinds of things. So I decided to make one tile per thing that has visited us here on the property. And over time, I'd like to do more sets of these. You know, like right now I'm working on a set for spring. And so it just becomes a great way to create a different series of things for people to kind of mix and match and pull the... Uh, pieces that they like and make their own set. So my goal was to create tile-like patterns where there's repetition of shapes, but I also wanted to keep it really simple so that it's not an overwhelmingly crazy burn on each tile. And then of course I'm adding my watercolors to give each one something a little bit different, but I also, you know, try to pay attention to keeping it cohesive as a set. of my tiles are available in my store online if you want to check it out there's a link in the description below don't forget to comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching everybody